Hopefully it won't need to. Hopefully I'm it should. I'm assuming shouldn't. it could have gone straight in there. Hope so. Yeah. Um, You're welcome to shove stuff. Most through. likely go along the wall somewhere. And I'm thinking probably in that corner <laughs> is what I would think. So yeah, where we'll look at it. I might just. I'll move all that first, but I'll station myself over there. Maybe I might yeah, go around. Um, it is really hot. If you want, you can. There it is. There, it's a whip snake. Oh, Hello. Don't bite me, please. There he is, getting around. Only little? It, it is little, but whip snakes aren't massive snakes. Do you want to look at it? Yeah. Okay, so lucky we didn't open that garage door. Because it was right there. Right there, you would have got out. So, not the greatest lighting, if I can. See the the brackets around its eyes? Yeah, I had one before. Don't, um, and don't I you nip. I actually um, took that one to the bush myself because the snake um, people that I sent it to identified it for me. But As a whip snake? Yeah, not this one, obviously. Another yeah, yeah. one that I've had. Um, but I didn't see this one, so I was like, I'm not risking it. Did they that. tell you they're venomous? Uh, they said that they can be mildly venomous. They are mildly venomous. Yeah. Um, as a professional, you would not recommend someone that doesn't know snakes to touch this animal. And, and they've got like a, a black mark underneath that makes it look like a comma. Yeah. yeah. Um, this isn't the best light to look at it. Because this light is dull, it does actually look... Like it's a brown coloured snake and yeah. it sort of does when it shimmies along yeah. in the light But when you actually look at it in the light, there's no brown on this animal that it's the scales are actually a, a sort of dull sort of grey um, And it has a copper tinge and a bit of an olive green tinge mixed in there as well Which all together when it's like zipping along the yard, it looks brown yeah. But when you actually get a good look at it, they're not actually brown Show everyone your face mate, <laughs> that's how you do it I've actually lived in this hey. area six years and the only snakes I've seen yeah. are indoors or on the driveway. I've never seen them in the bush where I walk all the time. Well, they, it, when you're in the bush, you yeah. probably walk past a hundred nails so you and you just and don't see them because snakes really just want to keep out of our way. Yeah. They don't want anything to do with us really. In the backyard, I've never seen them in our backyard here and we're back onto that bush there. Yeah. Well, yeah, the chances of actually seeing a snake is quite slim. Yeah. That's the whole reason why I become a snake catcher because I'd go out looking for them and never find them. So I thought <laughs> I'll just get people to call me when they find them, and that was a good idea because this is snake number nine just for the week. Six oh, wow. different species this week. Wow. Um, so there are a few snakes around, but it's a bit of a numbers game for you know. Yeah. Uh, that's that's nine people that well, I think we've had eleven calls all week. Yeah. About how many houses are here? Like fifty thousand or something. So really, the chances of you. Having the snake is quite slim, but there are a lot of snakes around, but they try and keep out of our way. They really just don't. Yeah, I don't mind if they just don't come in my house. Yeah, in the house is a bit close for comfort, and this is a venomous snake, so if you step on this thing, yeah. I can bring it out into the light. If you if you want a better look at it, it's up oh, to I've you. Seen yeah. Shots of it, you're welcome to. Oh, it's alright. I can I'll when I release it, I'll release it in the in a nice light spot. He's actually been quite calm snout as well if you see them front on and if one of these guys stands up yeah it will stand up straight and stick their head out flat yeah and they've there's the the <laughs> scale the scales as you saw he, uh, sorry, I, I was just hoping he went in on his own but if he does not make him um the scale the yellow faced whip snake absolutely beautiful little snakes they're often mistaken for baby brown snakes. And I guess to the untrained eye, you could I can kind of understand why. But if you know what to look for, these snakes look nothing like a brown snake. In fact, there's not even any brown on them. They're a grey snake with an olive green tone and a coppery tinge. His head. Absolutely gorgeous snakes. You can see the olive green colour on the head. Different coloration. Don't get nippy. Don't get nippy. I'm just trying to show people what they are, so don't whack you with a shovel thinking you're a brown snake, mate. So you can see that massive different coloration in the head now that we've got it out in some good light. If it settles down at all for us, it's like a green head, olive green. It's got that coppery tinge along the back. The pattern across the face, which is a dead giveaway, it's a whip snake. So we'll let him go here, I think. It's a good little spot for him. Yeah, that's the whip snake, and you can see the tail, very thin. It's a very slender snake, like a bit like a tree snake, not so 
thick and heavy bodied like a brown snake would be. There you go mate. Off you go. You can see that definitely different coloration. Here he is here. Go the opposite way. I'm the big scary thing that just caught you and put you in a bag. Go the opposite way. But you can see that color, the different coloration now that it's out in the light. You know, got the green tail with the green head, the coppery tinge along the body, grey scales with you know the, that just that copper tinge really. It's not brown when they move like that and duck along. It almost looks brown, but it's not. So off you go, little buddy. Best of luck to you. Well that there gives you an indication of the weather we've had. It's crazy. So we snapped that tree. You can see all the green foliage on it, it wasn't exactly dead. Anyway, this is a good spot for the whip.